Hi everyone, this time I will be discussing evaluation of post fix expression using two ways. These are by means of using stack and without using stack. I am going to show you first how to evaluate post fix expression without using stack. So say for example, we are given here an in fix expression J multiplication operator i subtraction operator n exponent symbol g addition operator e division operator l and then we also have here the values of our operands j i n g e l so the value of j is 8 i is 3 n is 4 g is 2 E is 36 and the value of L is 6. The first thing that we need to do here is to convert first our given in fix expression into post fix expression. So we are going to convert first this in fix expression into post fix expression. And the converted uh, post fix expression is J I multiplication operator n g exponent symbol subtraction operator e l division operator addition operator after converting our in fix expression into post fix expression we are going to substitute the values of our operands here to our converted post fix expression and we now have this postfix expression so we substitute 8 for j and then for i we have here 3 and then we have here our multiplication operator for n we have here 4 for g we have here 2 and then we have here our exponent symbol our subtraction operator and then for e we have here 36 for l we have here 6 and then we have here our division operator and our addition operator. In evaluating this uh, post-fix expression, we scan it from left to right. Okay, and look for the first operator. So we start scanning from 8, then 3, then our multiplication operator. This is our first operator. Okay. After... We have found the first operator. We are going to look for the immediate two operands to the left of this operator and then perform the operation. Okay. The pattern which we will be using in performing the operation is operand 1, operator, and operand 2. So we go back to our scanning of our post text expression. Okay, so we have here our first operator, which is multiplication. So having found the first operator, we now look for the immediate two operands to the left of this operator. And these operands are 8 and 3. 8 here serves as operand 1 and 3 serves as operand 2. And then we perform the operation, which is multi multiplication to our operand 1 and operand 2. So we now have here 8 multiplied to 3. It is equivalent to 24. And then we insert this obtained value after performing the multiplication operation to our expression. And our expression now is 24. So since we already performed this operation, we now have here 24 which is our obtained value after performing multiplication operation. And then we have here 4 2, exponent symbol, subtraction operator, 36, 6, division operator, and addition operator. Then we scan again this expression from left to right and look for the first operator. Okay, so we start scanning from here. So we have here 24, 4, 2, exponent symbol. So exponent symbol is our first operator. 
So having found the first operator, we now look for the immediate two operands to the left of this operator. And these are 4 and 2. Okay? 4 is operand 1 and 2 is operand 2. So we now perform our operation which is exponentiation to operand 1 and 2. So we now have here 4 raised to the second power. It is equivalent to 16. And our expression now is 24, 16. So since we already performed this operation here, okay, which is exponentiation, we now have here 16, which is the obtained value after performing exponentiation operation. And then we have here our subtraction operator, 36, 6, division operator, addition operator. Next, we scan again this expression from left to right and look for the first operator. So we now have here 24, 16, subtraction operator. So this is our first operator. Having found the first operator, we look for the immediate two operands to the left of this operator. And these are 24 and 16. So 24 is operand 1 and 16 is operand 2. So we now perform subtraction operation to 24 and 16. So we now have here 24 minus 16. It is equivalent to 8. And our expression now is 8. Okay, so since we already performed this operation, which is subtraction, we now have here 8, which is our obtained value after performing subtraction operation. Okay, then we have here 36. 6, division operator, addition operator. Then we scan again this expression from left to right and look for the first operator. Okay, so we have here 8, 36, 6, division operator. So this is our first operator. Having found the first operator, we look for the immediate two operands to the left of this operator. These are 36 and 6. So, 36 is operand 1 and 6 is operand 2. We now perform division operation. So, we now have here 36 divided by 6. It is equivalent to 6. And our expression now is 8. And then since we already performed this operation here, we have here 6, which is the obtained value after performing division operation. And then we have here addition operator. Then we scan this expression from left to right and look for the first operator. So we have here 8, 6, addition, operator. So this is our first operator and actually the only remaining operator in this expression. Okay, its immediate two operands are 8 and 6 to its left. Okay, so 8 is operand 1 and 6 is operand 2. So we now perform addition operation. So we now have here 8 plus 6. It is equivalent to 14. So 14 is our obtained value after evaluating this post fix expression without using stop. The other way of evaluating post fix expression is by means of using stop. Okay, here we only need to scan the given post fix expression once and we scan it from left to right. I will be using the same given post fix expression which is this one and this time we are going to evaluate this post fix expression by means of using stack. So let us now proceed to our evaluation of post fix expression using stack. So, this is our given post fix expression. 8, 3, multiplication operator, 4, 2, exponent symbol, subtraction operator, 36, 6, division operator, addition operator. In evaluating this post fix expression using stack, we need to remember that when you see an operand, Push it on the stack. 
when you see an operator pop out the last two operands from the stack and perform the operation and then push the obtained value after performing the operation so we are going to push the obtained value after performing the operation on our stack okay the pattern which we will be using in performing the operation is operand one operator and operand two okay so we start with our scanning of this post fix expression from left to right so we have here eight since eight is an operand we are going to push it on our stack so this is our stack we are going to push eight here next we have here three this is also an operand so we again push it on our stack then we have our multiplication operator so since it is an operator we are going to pop out the last two operands from our stack and perform multiplication operation okay so here 8 is operand 1 and 3 is operand 2 so we now perform multiplication operation to 8 and 3 so 8 multiplied to 3 is equivalent to 24 and then we push the obtained value which is 24 on our stack so we now have here 24 and then we continue on our scanning so we have here 4 it is an operand so we push it on our stack then 2 it is also an operand so we again push it on our stack then we have our exponent symbol this is an operator so we need to pop out the last two operands from our stack and perform operation okay so 4 is operand 1 and 2 is operand 2 so we now perform our exponentiation to 4 and 2 so we now have here 4 raised to the second power it is equivalent to 16 okay so the content of our stack is 24 so we have this 24 here because we only pop out the last two operands from our stack a while ago and then we push the obtained value which is 16 after performing exponentiation on our stack so we now have here 16 and then we continue on our scanning so we have here our subtraction operator so since this is an operator we pop out the last two operands from our stack and perform subtraction operation so operand 1 is 24 and operand 2 is 16 so we now have here 24 minus 16 it is equivalent to 8 okay so we push 8 on our stack so we have here 8 then we continue on our scanning so we have here 36 it is an operand so we push it on our stack the next we have here 6 it is also an operand so we again push it on our stack and the next we have division operator this is an operator so we need to pop out the last two operands from our stack these last two operands are 36 and 6 36 is operand 1 and 6 is operand 2 and we perform now our division operation to 36 and 6 so we now have here 36 divided by 6 it is equivalent to 6 okay so the content of our stack is still 8 since we only pop out these last two elements from our stack a while ago and then we push the obtained value which is 6 after performing division operation on our stack so we have here 6 and then we continue on our scanning so we now have here the last element which is addition operator okay so since this is an operator we are going to pop out the last two operands from our stack which are 8 and 6 so 8 is operand 1 and 6 is operand 2 and we perform now addition to 8 and 6 okay so we now have here 8 plus 6 it is equivalent to 14 so 14 is our obtained value after evaluating this post fix expression using stack